It's Friday, and we're here to kill this week but good with Mascot Friday, our show about the PS1 platformers of the distant past. Alex is uh, slapping his fist into his palm. These are dead, dead mascots. How many pipes you got? You got your lead pipe, you mm-hmm. got your pipe wrench, you mm-hmm. got your regular wrench? Mm-hmm. I have a thousand different things. Um, I've got a rubber mallet, I've got a non-rubber mallet, I've got the little croquet mallet. I mm-hmm. have so many... When did I get so many mallets? This Andy? week is being put down, be it by mallet, or actually it's probably by mallet. It has... To, I have like 50 of them. We gotta, we gotta go with the theme. It's all cartoons, you know? Cartoons often kill each other with mallets. We're just... They, they grim but true. We're they serving do. in a proud tradition here. Alex, please, please read us some notifications. Okay, let's, let's, let's get back on track thank you crush gals 13 month resub is it too late for a tomb raider upset yes, well the lara croft contingent did not come out the way that crash bandicoot stuffed this week ballots box this week's ballot box that's right i saw you crash i saw you do it i saw you stuff it you are being banned for six months crash bandicoot alex please continue your notifications crash says whoa <laughs> all right thank you blab 18 month resub Smettle- 18 months wow thank yeah. you yeah small bear resubs 47 months and gives us a little uh oh, dancing a little, bongo Look at that. a little dancing Look bongo at that. oh, thank dancing. you smibble two uh two seal of resubs at tier two at 36 months holy shit that's oh. almost three whole years oh wow 36 months indeed yeah wow thank you sasquatchless resubs uh 40 months in a row thank you nice, so very nice. much thank you sass and thank you to All Hail Magambo for the 26 month resub. Uh, they say, Ass Bandicoot. Ass All right, Bandicoot, it's indeed. Thank you, everybody. It's Friday. Uh, yeah, so I didn't get, <laughs> I didn't wait for the proper time to unleash my rant just because someone brought it up and I just got furious. I saw Crash Bandicoot 3 trailing at the very bottom of this week's poll. It was something like 300 votes in. It looked like the top three was pretty much cemented, but I wanted to keep an eye on it to see uh, what happened. What happened is 50 votes came in for Crash Bandicoot 3 mysteriously in a multi-choice poll, uh, not voting for anything else, just for Crash 3. Hmm, mysterious. Mm. Pretty sure that's Crash himself. He's known to do this. He is getting a six-month ban from Mascot Friday. Don't do that again, Crash. I'm watching your ass. Instead, we're playing what the people actually wanted to see us play tonight, which is Cheesy, oh, boy, Robert Mondieu, and mm-hmm. Jinx. Wow, what a lineup. <laughs> cheesy, huh? Maybe Crash was trying to save us from ourselves. I've I've heard about Cheesy. This one, you can't fool me on this one. I know it features a rat, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a rat-based platformer. It's so good, it was only released in Japan and PAL regions. And the Japanese publisher was Jalico, just to give you some idea. Oh, oh the European publisher was uh, Ocean, who is like uh, Europe's Jalico. So, I guess we're doing Cheesy? We're doing it. We're starting off with the Big Guns, this Mm. infamous game that that I'm sure is infamous because people love it so much. Cheesy European edition in English and French. Let's go. I think I might need to resize this bad boy. Oh, yeah. It's in PAL format. So, well, Um, wait until after the uh, the BIOS. We're doing this through emulation, so none of that 50 hertz fuckery. Is that something the AVGN has said? It sounds like it. Mm-hmm. 50 hertz fuckery. Oh yeah, we're gonna play Jinx. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. By Ocean. Oh. Look at that. The, the, this dolphin programmed the game. Pretty good for a dolphin. No. I, I, I need to play the game to see that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to... I'm not just going to give props because they're a dolphin. <laughs> You're not so easily won over by Mm-mm. dolphin imagery. Mm-mm. Well, Did we you can put, be... Did you put it in French? No, I didn't. I pushed right and then the game started because there was a hidden timer. <laughs> We're playing in French, I guess. Yes! You want to turn it down on our end a little bit? Oh, yeah, it's a little, uh, loud. Thank you, Thank Invadoroid, for the five months the dolphin sounds. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Press there, start. We're really doing it in French. I was just... <laughs> Fromage. No, 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 no. I'm not making fun. I am in... I want to see if this makes me like the Cyber game Cyber Chef? Hey, what about Mad Hag? How many we got any hags in the audience? Cyber shit. Any hags out there? Chargement. Because <laughs> patience says pipi. 
I love it. You I know what fu- SVP stands for? It stands for s'il vous plaît. <gasps> yes. All right. I'm all in for French cheesy. French cheesy. Well, Alex. I know. I got to play. This is what we got to do as part of our Mascot Friday standards. Alex is going to evaluate this game as the gaming everyman, Mm -hmm. which is to say he's about average at video games, and he's just going to give his off-the-cuff response to what he sees, whereas I, the platform master, will be the one to deliver the final judgment. Thank you, Laserbelt, for 29 months. Oh, thank you, Fromagey. This game's got plenty of that Fromagey. Soulstorm, Cyber Chef. Mad Hag, what a great name. All right, I better do this. I I can't stop putting this off. I I know what these words mean, at least. Options. You want to put it back back in English? Can I? Yes. That's not... Okay. What other game makes the language selection like a timed choice? (laughs) Like you're selecting a Neo Geo game or something. Okay, those E's look like I's, and I thought I accidentally put this into Italian. I thought it was studio, and I was like, ah, fuck. Well, already we have some good news. There's only two buttons in this game. Jump and fire. Keeping it simple. That's what Cheesy does. After all, Cheesy does it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, nobody's around to stop me from saying that. I can just say whatever I want. Yeah, (laughs) Audifence also has a timed language select. Wow. (laughs) Putting the the high-pressure sales pitch on the on the player to pick a language so i have bad news yeah i have horrible news what this has tank controls oh good no that's not. a cool little backwards walk you're doing there cheesy is the guy's name cheesy oh wow he moves bad. chester cheetah ain't suing shit come after me chester okay. i'm ready to fight i'm putting up my dukes i'm gonna beat up the mascots yeah, Tomb Raider was on the list. You could have picked Tomb Raider. Instead, you picked the game that uh, Tomb Raider was inspired by. Is it Pikachu? It's a little bit slimmer uh, Pikachu, yeah. I think this is Raichu. Like Rascal with extra cheese. You know, Rascal almost made it in. We were real close to playing Rascal. Both this and Rascal have been in at least five Mascot Friday pulls apiece. Somehow this one got in. Yeah, this does look good. Stop. I'm excited. Ratatoing! Yes! Yes! <laughs> thank you! I am getting Ratatoing vibes. Video Brinquetto presents Cheesy. Okay, now it's in, in... Yeah, good news. This is both a 2D and a 3D game. So depending on what we feel is, uh, I don't know, the majority of the gameplay will rank this as either a 2D or 3D game. I have not played Gift. I have, do I know what that is? I maybe have heard of that. I found Explosives Volume 1. There's Chemistry. Could be Mousetrap Hotel 3D. This is uh, one of the few rat-based platformers we've seen. That's true. Rats and... typically aren't uh, they aren't very well represented in the world of uh, platformers, unless you count Mickey Mouse. Okay, we've, we're 60 seconds into the game. I don't know how you can call it dog shit. It's at least rat shit. Okay, I can just jump there. I can't really attack yet. It's got the it's got the Hanna Barbera break sound effect. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, oh God. Wow, that's loud. Oh, actually, you want to pause and turn down the desktop audio some? This is really pumping. Okay. No, I mean both on our end and the uh, the OBS. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, that should hopefully be a little bit better. Okay. And it is threatening music. It's pounding away. Ugh! Oh, I, I burned my ass. <laughs> okay, that mushroom is bad. You might think it's good, but it's not. I found some poison. There's two different kinds of poison. Not sure what's up with this mushroom. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is what? Gift the game that I keep learning about and then instantly forgetting about? Yes. It's, it's the kind of thing that instantly goes in one ear and out the other. That must be very frustrating Whoa. to you. No. Uh, that was cool. That was a good move. Ow. 
Oh, Please. there's that box art that I see and then instantly forget. Yeah, gift. Okay. We're due to head back to the PS2 platformers soon. Oh, this yeah. gift doesn't look like it's given anything. Please. You having fun? Uh -huh. <laughs> Tim Allen grunt? Yeah, basically. What were you killed by? God, I don't fucking know. I couldn't... I couldn't really see what that was. Was it a... Can you open these? Is there something I'm missing? I feel like I should be able to open these. No, there's only two buttons. Uh, and I'm pressing... Okay, fine. Once again, Alex killed by God. A wall slug, is that what it was? PC Gamer, quote, It could prove to be God's gift. That sounds like a really uh, optimistic preview quote to me. <laughs> Something you would put on the box. Well, that must be why I keep instantly forgetting it. My brain is trying to protect me from suffering the same fate as everyone else who played Gift. Hey, I look haggard. Look at my face. Well, think about what this rat's going through. I'm trying. I am, and I think that. Oh God. Okay, hold on. I can't think. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. But people are noting how the uh, environments seem pretty cramped, what with the low ceilings and all. And yeah, that's. There's a real claustrophobic, menacing feel to this game between the music and the really uh, squeezed together environments. Like you're a rat, you should feel comfortable in this uh, crowded environment. But no, you're some kind of large mutant rat. I mean, I'm not that large. Like, look at how, look at that ant. You're bipedal, for God's sake. Yeah, but, but I'm as big as an ant. That's not that big. Look at this mushroom. This mushroom dwarfs me. Like, I think I'm pretty small. <laughs> Is this a Net Your Rose game? That's what I thought yes. when I first saw this on uh, Classics of Game. It had that look to it, especially the 3D part. Oh, you can balance on edges? That's neat. Oh my god. This never ends. Okay. No! 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 Okay, I'm can alive. Can you jump back up? Oh, Alright, good. Saved. Oh, Looks like an edgy aughts webcomic. That's premises. What if cartoon mice were twisted? <laughs> I'd be surprised if this wasn't a webcomic. It does give me webcomic vibes, yeah. Thank you, Uzi, for the 46 months. Uzi took 46 cakes. That's as many as 40 plus 6, and, and that's, that's terrible. terrible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't What's... know what happened there. Someone got crushed by a book. What the hell is happening? Um. Wait, do I have a gun now? Nice. Oh, yeah. What kind of house are we in where there's all these books that are all like... Holy shit! Cheesy has a gun. This is just a The rat gun. has a gun. Oh my god. <laughs> Folks, we're gonna have to reevaluate this game right now, because he has a gun. Yeah, it's not like a, a cutesy little pop gun or something. It's a, it's a firearm. <laughs> okay, it's just go that way. Do I have to shoot something over here? Let's see if there's Maybe. Oh, good lord. Do you have unlimited ammo? Yeah, appears so. Nice. Can I shoot this box? Is that... no. <laughs> Behind the walls is a cool spot level. Yeah, we're gonna break through the wall and shoot cool spot to death. <laughs> okay. Man, a lot of people are on the same wavelength today. We got a we got a good vibe going. People making the same jokes about Chester Cheetah and Aerosmith. Oh, can you shoot the bottles of poison? Ooh. Well, I have to find a bottle of poison again, but yeah, I'll try. Yeah, since it just gave you a gun, I'm just gonna guess that you need to find something to shoot. Okay, I can't shoot the poison. It's the principle known as Cheesy's gun. <laughs> Actually, does anybody know where I should be going? I have a feeling. Was I'm this made in a war torn country? <laughs> what was that, uh. That bootleg itchy and scratchy worker in Parasite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hold up, is that a gun arm? Yeah. Oh my god, he's 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 the man with the machine gun on his arm. That's that's what that song's called. Yes, the the rat with the golden arm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Franco Jank, that's a good uh <laughs> that's a good turn of phrase. We haven't played many games we could describe as Franco Jank. It's more like like a European melange at worst. Oh, it's English. Thanks for calling it a melange. It makes it sound a lot classier. Mm hmm. Like a European uh, lasagna. I want a lasagna. Is it a cousin of Chuck E. Cheese? I wonder. Did he try to uh, apply for the, the band? What's Chucky's band called? The Blackout Band? Oh, please. Cheesy couldn't do it because Cheesy plays theremin. Oh, okay. No one wants that. Okay, this is fragile, so certainly... No. You got tricked. Munch's make-believe band? Okay. I'll just, I'll just take your word for it. Oh, did people post the uh, the Jalico cover for this game? For some reason, this seems like a something Jalico would localize and release in Japan. <laughs> Sass says that uh, this is clearly an Amiga game because you're already lost. Yeah. Yeah. You're collecting random shit. You're getting lost. I'm surprised you don't push up to jump. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do this tricky jump. The Japanese box has more guns than the Western version. This game is backwards in every way. Yeah, it's one of those where the hell do I go kind of games. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try to jump up here by bouncing off this guy. But this. I'm too slow when I jump, I'm too floaty. There's no such thing as too floaty. You can make this happen. It started off as a Jaguar game? Like Rayman? <laughs> this game looks like it plays drunk. Yes. Yes. Yes, Whoop. Yes. Yeah, everything feels like you're just kind of in a floaty haze. A Jaguar game. Well, that guy's not coming back, so... Oh, that J version box art is very, very cursed. Alex, you want to pause a second? I think there's something you need to see. Uh, he looks like a dog. He look, no, he looks like a kangaroo. Oh, he does look kind of kangarooish. No, this is like someone who only draws kangaroos was told to draw a mouse. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, I have one heart left, and there's no way I'm going to survive this. So. Well, you made it through several checkpoints. I think you made some good progress. I've seen people play this who just go, fuck this, like, right away. <laughs> Like they, they they get to the side scrolling part and they're just like fuck this and they've made the right choice actually. Well. He's got a Barrett arm because it was trendy. It was. And this guy, you know, he's just. I, I can't even. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of funny things to say, but look it's at just, him. Is this just sapping all your creativity? Yeah, yes, yes. It's sapping my energy, my creativity, my 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 soul. Oh god. God. <laughs> Are you ready to give up? Wow, it's Danny's turn. Amazing. Good work, Alex. Thank you. I hate this game. Well, Good you made luck. a decent amount of progress for this being your first exposure to cheesy. Wait a minute. Is that really how he jumps? Yes. Do you see what I mean by too floaty? It's not just floaty. It's like it's delayed by a full half second. See? See? And then, oh, you really have to get up ahead of speed, ahead of steam before he really starts going. Oh, no. Yeah, see? 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 Well, I mean, first impressions aren't everything. This might actually be good. Because... You try. You try. This... Okay. This is... This, people, people are uh, disappointed in voting for this. Listen. <laughs> We had to play it eventually. Doesn't he look haggard? His eyes look... 
You can shoot up? You can shoot in eight directions. Wow. Look at that. That's... You can shoot the, the tiny slugs on the ground. <laughs> Eat shit slugs. Look at this guy. All right, let's find where Alex was Carney, going. Carney Carnage ass game. Thank you, powerful. Oh Gordon. crap! This momentum. See? I would say it's Bubsy end, but even Bubsy didn't go this far. Nah, this is not to. See, it says you should go that way, but that's where I started. And you can't shoot anything. Hmm. Interesting. Then why do the arrows point that way? Because that's where you got your gun, I think. And now I think you're supposed to go down into the rat hole uh, that I found earlier. The rat hole? Okay. Yeah. Uh... Does anyone want to load up a long play? <laughs> just, just to give us an idea of where we're supposed to be heading. I want to yeah, get. A, I want to make some kind of there. progress. And I assume you go in the rat hole. Maybe there's cheats for this. All right, we've entered the rat hole. Looks like there's a whole bunch more shit all over the place. Wait a minute. Look at that. When you jump, you don't make the uh, the turn around the corner. You gotta yeah. you gotta do this. Interesting choice. This was uh, a three guy team, according to Misty. Uh, one guy on graphics and game design. And one guy on programming. You know that makes sense. This has such net Eurose vibes. Level skip code. Okay. Oh, but it's at the password screen, so get to the password screen. I think you can get there by pausing. Damn yeah. it. Let me let me explore this for another minute or two okay. before we do level select. But I do want to see more of. I do want to see more of this. Did you did you Wait. do it? Was the solution to fall in a bottomless pit? What, was was that what happened? I think it was. I think it was. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we're dealing with, huh? We made it to this. So, how's the movement? Oh, this is way worse than the 2D mode. <laughs> it's worse, right? He's just... Can we get a good look at him? See what we're up against. See? Haggard. Haggard. Yeah, he looks like he's sleep deprived. Yeah. Yeah, that was me when I woke up this morning. I had to take like a really long nap. You can't use your gun here either. So maybe these 3D hub world sequences aren't meant to be a uh, platformery, you know? No. So I... maybe we should judge this as a 2D game. Is what I'm thinking. Well, let's find the random spot that makes us go to level two. Because that's how we got to level one. Cheesy is a mysterious one. Cheesy is... I'm curious, but also full of dread. Thinking about Cheesy. Okay, Camera? there you go. Camera, you want to... You don't have to stay all the way over there. Okay. You did it. You found the invisible spot. I'm going to kick Cheesy's ass. You're going to have to stand in line. I am I was going to say, okay. We all just need to listen. For once, I found a rat I don't like. <laughs> oh, this led to another 3D. It's an overhead view sequence. This game is also an overhead view action game. Piss. So you hold the fire button and you can just spin in place. Who's the Joker? I'm I'm feeling. I'm the Joker. I'm I'm the Joker. <laughs> How many what people want to become Jokers tonight? <laughs> oh no! It uses the exact same. It uses the exact same momentum, so you you really slide around all over the place. But it's overhead view, and. You don't get as much view space up and down as you do left and right, you see? So when you go up, you just kind of slam headfirst into things. Hmm. 
A lot of a lot of interesting choices being made here. Very deliberate. Someone sat down and made this into a whole video game. Can you jump on the baster at least? Bullshit. Where's your sense of fun, cheesy? It was like three people made this. Where's your sense of fun, three people who made cheesy? So people people are asking if it's got really if it's, if it's uh, ice physics. Yeah. Yes, it's always ice physics in this game all the time, even when you're in the air. That's what makes it feel so much like Bubsy. I'm gonna say it. I think I'd prefer to play Bubsy 3D. You know, there's an argument to be made there. Oh, you found a magic book. Teleport! Hell yeah, I got a gun arm. I can do that. Okay. Said Cheesy. <laughs> Webtoons. Oh, Webton Mar Mars? Weston Mars. That's an S? Yeah. Weston Mare. Is that second letter an E or a Z? See, that's why I thought I put it to Italian earlier. I I, I thought, you know, it's it's Weston Mari. That's what they say. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how Italian is pronounced. Please don't ask. That's me. what they say in Soliana, Alex. Oh, I'm That's sorry. That's not real. Italy is real. <laughs> yes, it's that new show, The Mayor of Weston. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're going down the. Oh, good, we're going. Down oh my this. God, it's a sewer level. <laughs> What's with this music? I know. Italy is legal. Thank you. <laughs> I am truly happy-go-luppy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just what we needed. Another <laughs> gameplay type. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been a fun week here on Retro Pals, but I'm feeling oh, pretty boy. tired. I think we should just... Uh, and call it here. And call it a night. Pretend like this stream never happened. Turd surfing... I'm cackling because I somehow got out of doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't have to play any of the other gameplay styles. Are these all the doll is this like are those all the dolphins that may sense to people or whatever? <laughs> Totsugeki! They're all from the sewer, they smell awful. <laughs> sewer dolphins. Three people. I'm impressed that three people made this. I'm gonna yeah. say it. I'm gonna say it. That's impressive. It's, it's tough for three people to make a fully realized 3D world as they did here. Wait, you can just... I'm just gonna hold down the gun. Oh, no, it flashes. I yeah, shouldn't. it's okay. I'm checking chat. Don't worry. I am just... As if this game couldn't get any better, it also has flashing. So, I just want to say, the, the Crash Bandicoot stuffing the ballot box was to save us. It I think was. it was. To the, to, Crash to... was all like, oh, no. I hate the Retro Pals, but I don't hate them that much. <laughs> I, I, I know you have a long-standing feud with Crash, but... <laughs> I think I get the point. Can we, uh... Okay, good. Hey, it, it, wow, it, it ended right when I got wow. the point. There's something to be said for Cheesy. Doesn't overstay its the welcome. The world record run for this is over an hour. There's a world record run for this? Well, on speedrun.com. Okay, here we are. This is what we're ranking. We're in, uh... The Cave from Spelunker. That is the Cave from Spelunker. Yeah. What are you?! It, it's killable, whatever it is. <laughs> There's a single run of cheesy. Stone Cold Killer Cheesy. Honestly, I'm glad no one else is doing cheesy. They need to love themselves. Oh, God, worms. Ah. Do I have a zero life? Or is this game over? I do have a zero life. Oh, thank God. Well, the game gives you five hits before you die, which is good, because you take hits constantly. Yeah, it's a dragon worm, I think, Sass. I'm... <laughs> I'm just tapping the right... God damn it, it can still hurt you. I'm trying to praise Why you, Cheesy. 
Oh, uh, the, the sorry. Did our bitrate okay, crash? There we go. The okay, bit good. Back. Everything's against us. Crash Bandicoot, the bitrate, cheesy. God, this is. This is tense. It's very tense. It's my last life, too. Send Cheesy to hell? Cheesy is already there, it looks like. <laughs> you get there through the sewer. Alright, you shot the spikes off. It shouldn't kill you now. I. I hate this. Hey, hey, checkpoint, checkpoint. Yeah, but I got no lives. It's looking real dangerous for Cheesy. Every time I see him hurtling towards an enemy at his unstoppable momentum, I'm just like, no, no. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. This is a weird, this is a weird doom wad. I should, I, I should, I should love Cheesy. We should be kindred spirits. Yeah, but, he's a rat. He's your friend. But he's. We're both haggard, we're both rats, you'd think, but... I like that you stopped to just make sure he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, stone cold. That's true, we're not on a timer, that's nice. That's something. God, even going at my slowest, I still managed to plow into that enemy. Oh, god damn it. Right. This is it, last hit, last life checkpoint, but a lot of good that does. Sorry. We're both silent. I just, I don't know what to say. I am I'm just, just like... Okay, you any, got that guy. My life can end any second now. There's a heart up there. Is there? Go get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Maybe we'll beat this level. If you beat this late, uh, level, then you are the supreme gamer. Am I? Uh, is this a minecart level? No, they wouldn't put a minecart in the sewer. I mean, they put a cave in the sewer. They may as well put a minecart level here. Um. <laughs> Can I... What do you even say? I... Cheesy is fucking dead! That's cheesy for the PlayStation. Available in Europe and Japan. Huh. This one was a long time coming. I don't know what to think about it. This is this is a really difficult name select screen. <laughs> it's so difficult. Why is it so funny? There we go. A ass? That's all I wanted. Oh my god! Re return? Oh, return. Right. You gonna try the level again? Hmm. Let's see how far back it sends me. It'd be nice if it dropped me off at a checkpoint. But it didn't do that. It dropped me off at the hub world. Do we have passwords? We don't have pa- we have the level select uh, code. Hold on, I need to paste it. Okay. Okay, at the password screen. Enter XX square circle. Listen to this. That was nice. Did Cheesy play that himself? Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's one of their many talents aside from murderer. <laughs> Can you click on my window? XX square circle. Let's see how far we can get in this. Because it is number one. It's the game everyone voted for to see. So, about, uh, about the quality of GameFAQ codes. I'm seeing, I'm seeing an issue with uh, the codes that people have very kindly looked up for us and pasted to us. Thinking, uh, just, you know, that why would anyone lie on the internet? Why would they say anything incorrect? We have level passwords, but I don't know if I trust them. Give me level uh, eight. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, God. 
Agin Court Six is the last level. Agin Court Six. Okay. This is really tough. This is why is it so why difficult? Why did they make it so tough? This is on a D-pad. This is not analog even. It's just this is a slippery rat. This rat is just Every element of this ugh. game is slippery from the rat himself to the the continue screen. A court what? 6. And Rhett. Oh, thank God. Here we are at the last level of Cheesy, finishing up our 12-hour long play. Still love the game as much as I do on level one. You just, you've got your Cheesy tattoo, you're showing it off, your Cheesy mm -hmm. Kigurumi. Honestly, I want a Cheesy Kigu now. Yeah, me too. This might not be the very last level, but I'm going into it. Oh, thank you, Hardcore Casual Gaming, for five months. Got done recording some Snatchers. Snatchers a good game. Snatchers good. And here we are in hell. You know, I don't think we missed out on much by not seeing this level. Can he? Can you drop him? Can we? Can we drop him into the fire? Do we want to send him to directly to hell? Thank you, Focus Maple Forty Two. Before I go on for the thirty-one month resub. You want to see us send Cheesy to hell? Because we can do it. I'm doing it right now. Is the fire climbing higher? I think it is. Oh, that sucks. Everyone wants to see Cheesy suffer. And I'm... No, I want to see him survive. So I'm okay. going to I'm gonna help him. Okay, thank you. Someone's... Grill Cheesy. Thank you, Gibdo. <laughs> What was that thing? Oh, it was our roommate showing me earlier about uh, grilled cheese cereal. Wait, what? Some maniacs just made a whole bunch of like tiny little grilled cheese sandwiches and poured milk on it. Ah! Oh, I thought it was a grilled cheese made out of cereal when when I heard y'all talking about no. that. I, I wasn't. I was in VR and I heard. That is, a, this... that is a treat that cheesy would make. God damn it! This level reminds me of Lumno. Yes, this is Lumno Wedding vibe. Oh yes. yeah, this is exactly it. Lum just can't go to school without it being set Why? on fire. Sorry, I hate this. They should have put this on all the uh, pirate multi-carts instead of Lum. Or maybe I just need to go back to infant school. I'm pissed. I'm pissed on your behalf. The controls make this a really interesting challenge. Because... You're really just viewing platforming in the abstract, you know? Mm-hmm. Because these platforms, they're all very obvious. It's real clear what you're supposed to do. But the controls are so... Like... They're so like the way they are that it makes platforming... The act of platforming not so much important as mastering the controls. It's very strange. The non-platforming platformer. In this one more try. I hate. Yeah, interesting in a fun way. That's a good way of putting it. I Wouldn't mean, you say that, Alex? I didn't say anything. I, I wasn't. I wasn't chanting hate under my breath. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you were saying it was interesting in a fun way. True, Lucifer was an angel. I'm not sure where this discussion is going, but. And <laughs> yeah, his name was Cheesy. I assume Lucifer was ha looked haggard as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. The momentum continuing in the air is something I cannot abide by, though. So floaty. Should have called this floaty. Give Alex feeling every hit that I take. <laughs> Give my spouse a break. Nice. Nice. Those are lucky mounts. Thank you for murdering the fire. I had to. Nice. I made it to a checkpoint. I now want to see Cheesy live. I need to see this through. 
You think I want to... I'm just going to beat the odds here, I think. That's all. No! It's okay, we hit a checkpoint. It's fine. Oh, rip, rip, rip. Yeah, just shoot the fire. Fires hate bullets. They do. This is, this is why every firefighter carries a gun. I think that's called a hose. A hose is a fire gun. A lot of checkpoints. Where oh, did no. I go? Way. Almost saved it. There we go. We did save it. It's like a waking nightmare, you know? Yeah. Where it's very clear what you need to do, but you're just too slow to react or do anything. You see your beloved mascots burn up in front of your eyes. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> in my restless dreams, I see them. Cheesy. Dead mascots. Crash Bandicoot. These, these little fuckers. I hate them. Did I do it? Holy shit! Everyone, applause. Applause. Please clap. <laughs> Holy shit. Cheesy. I'm starting to get into this. This is an interesting challenge. In in much the same way as a game like uh, Pears and Great Witch is a challenge. What the fuck is this? Oh, we're on the roof. With slow jams. Okay, this is good. Who is it on Twitter who resurfaced uh, Pure Moods this week? Someone resurfaced Pure Moods? Yeah, I oh. watched that commercial after a really long time, and I'm like, ah, yes, the 90s. Oh, God, that's so wonderful. Thank you. It's an album with Enya, a techno remix of The X-Files by DJ I love, Datto. I love that. <laughs> A lot of Enigma, if I recall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that's on uh, Spotify, or do we need to pirate Pure Moods? <laughs> I hope Pure Moods is piratable. Was it you? Was it you? Was it you? Was it, uh, the Whoop? Might have been Whoop. I hadn't thought about Pure Moods in a while. All right, tell you what. Uh, I think this will be my last life, because okay. I have so many hearts. What is that thing? What is that thing? It's the alien you're supposed to defeat, I think. Ooh, good jump. Did I wall jump? Hugging on the soul seek for pure moods. Let's <laughs> get that lime wire. That's still going right. Bear share, baby. Bear share? You know, I've said too much. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> no! It's the piracy surface only for bears. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You gotta be uh, this hairy to use bear share. Well, I'm just gonna drop cheesy into the the great abyss because I think that's about the end of our time with cheesy. Game over. Saw a bunch of levels. I don't know if I liked what I saw. I don't know. I don't. I don't know a lot of things right now. You our did next not game. achieve a high score. I did Press not start. I did not achieve a high score. It's a shame. All right, next game. Thanks, everybody, for voting for Cheesy. It was going to happen eventually. I don't know if I'm glad that it happened or not. But our next game, I know I'm glad to see. It's Robert Mondieu, Ooh. a.k.a. Jumping Flash 3. Did you know they made a Jumping Flash 3? I did not. Only released in Japan. We're going to play it. Yeah, Jinx is after this. Don't worry. We'll get All to right. the Jinx. We're saving the best for last. One second. Just need to adjust. Oh yeah, this is a uh, NTSC game, so. Okay, that should be good. So what's this game's deal? Do you know anything about it? I do. Well, I know it's a sequel to. Uh, I know it's the third Jumping Flash game. Uh huh. I don't know anything else. Okay, here you go. Once again by Sony Computer Entertainment, this game picks up a couple years after Jumping Flash 2. I think uh, Jumping Flash 1 was 95, 2 was 96, and this one is, what, 99, 2000? 
So Jumping Flash was basically dead and buried by this point until all of a sudden, Robert came back. And he's writing the great American novel. Honestly, good for him. Hey, hey, I want, I want that. I want to look like that. Mr. Pendleton, I looked this up. It actually is much the same staff as the first two games. I was honestly wondering after the first time I played this, but no, it's a lot of the same people. Hey, no, I want to see that guy again. No, no, bring back the cold. Okay. <laughs> they got rid of a cigarette in one of the jumping flashes for the U.S. That sounds like something they would do. All the uh, cutscenes for U.S. Jumping Flash were completely different from the Japanese and PAL versions. Really? Mm-hmm. It's because they took place at a bar and all the Moo Moo's were getting drunk. Ah, you can't have that. Robert Monju, a.k.a. Robert My God. <laughs> so, are we worshipping the rabbit? Because... Monja. Everybody line up to worship the robot. Uh, that one. Thank you. I, I, I know. <laughs> nope, yeah. it's a Japanese game, so yep. circle to confirm. Robert. Gets him every time. God. Robert. The jumping rabbit, Robert Cop. So, one thing you'll notice about this game right away is that there's a shit ton of Japanese text. You also have this map where you gotta pick missions or something. You can just skip past this. Uh, go to the help marker. Um, uh, maybe the third one? Yes? Oh, you're picking uh, your AI, Robo, and also some other things. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> this one? Uh, it says, uh, sh system. This one? Eh, just mess around a little bit. You'll start a level eventually. Okay. Okay. So you can customize your loadout before going to each of these levels. It's not linear like the previous jumping flashes. It's more mission-based, as you saw. And there's, like, story and dialogue and stuff. What the hell is this? All right, turned up a little. Hopefully, she's here now. <laughs> it's gonna be a strategy RPG. This is not the Wonder Swan. <laughs> We're out of there. Robert, your eyes are so red. Get some Visine. Was that Kiwi or money? I, I didn't really process it that way. I guess we have two thousand Kiwi. Yeah, do that. Okay. It's more like circle is confirm and X is uh, no. It makes some kind of sense. Mm -hmm. Check it out, you're playing Jumpin' Flash. Well, I use my bomb. Still controls like the previous two games. You can jump and then double jump and then triple jump with the right timing. You still got that uh, gauge on the right from Jumping Flash 2 that helps you make the the most optimal jumps. I don't think Sony's reviving this series for VR. I think that's just wishful thinking on the part of a lot of people, because that just makes sense. So, of course, they're not going to do it. It would it would make you very nauseous if you did this in 3D. Oh, yeah, I would die playing Jumping Flash VR, but I would die happy. And from what I've seen, what you're doing here is basically the entirety of this game. There aren't many straightforward missions. You don't have to go collect jet pods. It's more like you gotta find the place in this 3D space where it wants you to go. Okay. <laughs> Robin in The Last of Us. Everyone starts transforming into mechanical bunnies. Oh yeah, you can still shoot stuff. Good. 
This looks a lot better than the previous Jumping Flash games. It's a lot more graphically detailed. It still has a good frame rate. There's a, there's a little bit more punch to the the shots that you shoot. There is. Yeah, definitely more texture variety. I think they were allowed to do that because these little islands that you go to in this game are typically smaller, therefore they can have more texture variety and stuff. That'll take all my money, should I do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, you bought a, uh, looks like some bottle rockets. Oh, cool. That's a special item you can use with Circle. <laughs> Which will come first? Easy PS5 availability or next-gen Jumping Flash? Well... Well... I have a feeling they're gonna keep making PS5s, unlike Jumping Flash. Which is a shame. I think that I think that in these in these turbulent times, mm -hmm. in these times that are turbulent, turbulent times, that we could all use some jumping flash. A lot of turbulence here. Mm -hmm. They probably want you to go somewhere high up. Yeah, I'm seeing that house over there. Yeah, that go over there. Go. Of course, we'd know what to do if we could read Japanese, but. Eh. Take me to church. We can make an educated guess. I did it! Hey! And you got 800 Kiwi for your work. Hey! Yeah, rest in peace, Japan Studio. God mm. damn it, Sony. You don't know what you're doing no more. They're gonna invest in all their money into making 12 Last of Us sequels all at the same time. <laughs> One of them's gotta work. <laughs> I want a Nintendo Revolution. Give me one of those. Oh, no, so you don't... say you want a revolution. Don't call Robert Onichan. That's just wrong. First of all, it's a robot. <laughs> I mean, robots can... I don't know. Don't... don't... <laughs> the sometime news. It's The Last of Us, why are they making so many? They ought to make a Final Fantasy Last of Us. Where they're like... This is the final, last of our fantasies, us. Ooh, Diverging Paths, which one should I do? A or B? Uh, whatever you feel like. Um... I want to go with the ocean. Please. Maybe Last of Us is going to turn out to be the new Land Before Time. The Last of Us 14, Littlefoot's Adventure. <laughs> please, please. Do a Last of... Yes. Never-ending final Last of Us story fantasy. <laughs> That's the future. The future is in uh, franchise mashups. Everybody go see Space Jam 2. God, that's coming out, isn't it? Yeah. We saw it. Yeah, we saw an ad for that, didn't we? Land <laughs> Before Time and Last of Us do have the same intro. I mean... You know what was fucked up about Last of Us when I first played it? Uh, for the people who have seen the, the well, memorable so intro scene. Uh, it involves trying to escape from Travis County in Austin, Texas. And I was like, wow, how did it get my address like that? Are they reading my uh, position geographically? And no, it just turns out the game takes place in uh, Travis County at first. <laughs> also, I'm kind of stupid, so you know. Wow, I can't believe the PS3 read my geographical location. That would be cool if it did, though. Kind of creepy. Yeah, making individual uh, opening levels for, like, places in New York or Missouri or Florida or something. Maybe Joel gets eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> no, wait, they have alligators in uh, Florida, not crocs. Yeah, crocodiles are uh, not in America, if I recall. Hey, good work. Nice hey. job. I did it! Hey! With 11 seconds left. Excellent. Thank you. Amiga Balls detected. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Blab. Listen, 
I'm just going to believe you, and I'm just going to believe that The Last of Us and The Land Before Time are exactly the same film. Pretty much, I mean, yeah. Film, game, whatever. What's a, what's hey, Hexagon game? Witch, welcome. Welcome. How many of y'all... Maybe I'm showing my age here. How many of y'all saw the, la the Land Before Time in theaters? The original. The one with the uh, family dog short before it. I did not. I saw that on home video. Ah. Uh, Magambo did, yes! Hardcore Yay. Casual Gaming did! Oh, Hexcon Witch did, old, holy shit! We got some old heads. A lot of people have seen Land Before Time in theaters. That's good. You're all welcome here. Even if you've only seen uh, the first one and not the 13 sequels. Hey, I'm with you, Arnold Vermer. I've never seen a Bluth film in theaters. I don't think anyone has. Well, Land Before Time is a Bluth film, so... Oh, shit. Yeah. Can I take over? Can I play the game? Is this the time yet? No. <laughs> I think Alex is enjoying this one. Just please, please let me, let uh, me gather do something, my strength. Do something about the Obake. Okay. I know what I can do about Obake. <laughs> I could fucking destroy them. I like the noise they make. Blech! All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... Oh, we're talking about Titan AE. Some people saw Titan AE in theaters. Some very lucky, very few individuals <laughs> saw Titan AE. Now here's, a ch here's the challenge level question. How many of y'all saw Mom and Dad Save the Earth in theaters? <laughs> wow, you saw, man, you've seen way more than I have in theaters. Did you see Home Alone 2 in theaters? Absolutely. Okay. Like, day one. Did you see Beethoven in theaters? I did. I saw Beethoven 1 and 2 in theaters. Wow. You've seen, like, all the films I've seen in theaters. Did you see uh, Army of Darkness? No. <laughs> My dad took me to see that. It was the only movie he ever took me to see. Damn. Well, my dad showed me Firestarter at a very young age. Note, I was not nearly old enough to see Army of Darkness in theaters. Okay, I'm taking care of a lot of these characters. Yeah, you're a ghost hunter. People seeing Firestarter at a young age. A lot, of a lot of people probably saw inappropriate movies back then. That was just the thing for parents to do. Yeah, you know, the R rating is just a suggestion, you know? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I think I've got all the ground ghosts. Let's go higher. Hey, this game is fun. I'm sorry, Danny. It's going to be really hard for me to give this back to you. That's definitely the right way to experience pink flamingos, but not as a kid, thankfully. Oh, God. I was going I to say... I got worried for a second. Like, wow. Kids gotta learn about John Waters someday. I was gonna say, why why not start with something like Serial Mom? That's a little more family friendly. Someone saw Child's Play at a young age. I, a lot of kids, I think, had that experience. Because, you know, it's a movie about a, a toy. Something for the kids. It's not for kids. Oh, barely made that. Happy Friday, everybody. Alright, I guess I should give it to you. Let me just kill this guy. Come on! Tape saw a monkey bone at a young age. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Crush Gal saw a problem child. Nice. Oh, everyone can relate to seeing some kind of shitty movie in theaters. A movie that's just like, wow, what a waste of time that was. Not to say problem child was a waste of time. Oh, seeing wizards as a kid would, would fuck you up pretty good. Yeah, wow. Don't know about that. Okay, let me get you to somewhere safe here. Look who's talking to is a pretty good first movie. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. You saw Akira at 10. Wow. Wow. Such a range of experiences here. All right, ready? Here you go. Oh, okay. I think, it's, I think you should take over the rest of this level. Do I gotta hunt down the Obake? It looks like you've got one left. All got... right, let's go find that last ghost. How are you liking this one? I, I, was, I really like this, and it was hard to give it up to you. It's interesting, isn't it? I don't think I like it nearly as much as Jumping Flash 1 and 2, but they did try something different. 
And considering the first two games were like almost identical in terms of structure and, well, mechanics and everything, they kind of had to do something different. Where's that final ghost? For many people, though, I think this game is a disappointment, especially, especially the people who paid full price to import it way back when. It's as nice as an, an ISO, but maybe you don't want to drop 8,000 yen on it. Yeah, I could see that being a little, uh, a little unfun. Where is that little freak? If anyone sees a little freak around here, let, let me know. Oh, I'm looking all right. I got my eyes peeled. Do I need a little freak detector? Freak! head on out to uh, Camp Crystal Lake out here. All right, talking about inappropriate books. Yeah, I... My parents had a very large library, and... They didn't care, so... I feel you. Does it give you more leniency for the third jump? Or is that just my imagination? I think it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, you can you can do it after you reach the apex. I don't mm -hmm. think that was the case in the earlier games. Yeah, it's not that bad. So it's a little more evolved. Maybe they're in the church. Oh, hey! Hey, you got hey, a collectible, collectible card. trading card. <laughs> this time, Robert's into non-sports trading cards. It's truly a game from the '90s. We go on over here. Yeah, but I don't know what's at the top of it. It's too big. It is too big. I'm catching some kind of invisible platform here. Yeah, I did. I tried this earlier and I just couldn't get it. I don't think there's enough of them to really reach the top. When did I see Monkey Bone? I saw Monkey Bone very recently with our roommate. There's never a good time to see Monkey Bone. There isn't. There really isn't. It's, it's something that you really need to tell your children to avoid. It's... You're like, hey kids, avoid 90s cynicism. Just say no. Just say no. How there's many, one. How many irony lords do you think that movie created? All of them. I think that <laughs> all I think of them saw monkey. Bone. Every single one of us. It was legally mandated. I think I saw the ghost. By the way, it's on this platform. Okay, let's go get him. I think that was the ghost. Yep, there he is. Hey, ghost. Fuck you. Nice. That's my cool action hero line. Fuck you. <laughs> there was. I will say about Monkey Bone. Monkey Bone had really amazing sets. Like beautiful, well done sets. But it fucking sucks, sorry. Isn't that one of those movies where executive meddling ruined it or something? That's what I heard. <laughs> well, we saved the spooky church. Goodbye. And that's the story of how Robert became the rabbit in the moon. It's Japanese culture. Look it up. I I I I will. I actually have heard of that. You know, I don't think I know that the corporate meddling was supposed to have destroyed a uh, cool world, but I don't know how that would have been a better film. I don't know how you could have improved that film. Yeah, it's already perfect. <laughs> I actually rewatched uh, about thirty minutes of it the other day, and I couldn't. I couldn't finish. <laughs> you couldn't do another rewatch of no. Cool World. You don't have it in you. <laughs> Is that an evil rabbit? <gasps> Look at its eyes! There was an evil rabbit in one of the two uh, predecessor games. <laughs> it's called Japan, maybe you've heard of it. Dark Robert. I thought that said Dank Robert. <laughs> it could be Dank. That's his name. Uh, get the seven rings and go to goal. Good luck. 
Here we go. Oh, this is pilot wings now. You're a good pilot wing. Thank you. All right, it still has my favorite little control quirk of the original Jumping Flash games, which uh, if you're holding the jump button, you strafe in midair, and if you're not holding it, you turn. It's pretty nice. I'm glad it's there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Made it. I don't know. I kind of missed the more wide-open, search-oriented levels of the first game. Yeah, I... This feels more stop-and-go to me. Mm -hmm. It feels like I should just be, you know, non-stop action, because jumping flash. But here there's so many menus. There's a currency. There's collectible cards. It's got, it seems like it's trying to do a lot. Maybe that's admirable. Maybe we should take that into account as a good thing. Yeah, we just leave. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, with you, Bima. This game would probably be a lot better if we could read Japanese. Yeah. Let's go to Volcano. Good luck. Is there any fan translation of this? Is there? I'd like to play that. The Dark Souls 2 of Jumping Flash games. It looks like Yoshi's Story if it was good. Thank oh, you. we have to play Yoshi's Story sometime. I know. That's another one of those games nobody ever votes for. I wonder why. The X mark is under the Mitsuke, so get three of the things you can look at. Okay. Look at three things. Got it. <laughs> Yoshi's story is fine. Yoshi's story turned me against the N64 as a kid. <laughs> I like Yoshi's story. Contentious game. Remains controversial to this day. That's Yoshi for you. This level seems very similar to uh, a level from Jumping Flash 1. Well, like one of the very first ones. You just like shoot the axes or what? No, well, let's find out. Who knows? Oh! Oh, you got a new move in this game. You can do a butt stomp, a la Mario. Let's see if we can if we can do this. Hey, nice. okay, I get you. Yeah, the stomp is the triangle button. You know, I thought I hated this, but maybe this game's all right. Maybe just by being a disappointment doesn't mean that it's bad. Yeah, like I'm I'm not. I don't, I don't dislike this, I'm, maybe I just like it, maybe I just like it more if I knew Japanese, I don't know. I'll get someone to translate this, don't worry. Okay, okay, good. I got someone on it. What are you? That's a cool goat. It is. A goat in a cat hat. Hey! Had to do it. Yoshi's story is like if Nintendo made a British platformer. Wow! Whoa! Holy crap! Such strong words tonight. It must be Friday. What even, what even is this? A geode? It's, uh... It's water? Huh. I assume. Let's go make the third hot spring, wherever it is. Danny, can we get a hot spring? Yeah, let me butt stomp around the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and then tomorrow you can pick me up at the police station. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we did it. 
maybe this could this could be better than Gex 64. Maybe. Maybe. Do you think it's better than Cheesy? I don't want to say just yet. Okay. Okay. Let's not influence the, the popular vote. <laughs> Blame Cheesy for the foul mood. I'm in a good mood. Cheesy, right. cheesy itself is just kind of foul. Mm -hmm. Don't let that influence uh, how you think I'm feeling. I'm having a good old time with my buddy Robert. We have to respect the popular votes. All right, I think you got time for another level. Before okay. We switch to our final game. Well, let's head back to the very first level, which apparently has a new mission. Let's see how this game handles multiple missions in the same environment. This is my favorite Overwatch character. <laughs> oh, frog! These real-time cutscenes are pretty good. I gotta mm -hmm. say. Cutscenes in the previous Jumping Flash games were uh, pre-rendered. Uh, something about a frog. When it goes, there's an item. Do it. Got it. People who know Japanese are just listening to this and being like, God damn it. <laughs> it's a travesty. <laughs> Destroy all frogs, is that what it said? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we gotta wipe out all the frogs. Um, I want to apologize to all frog friends. Jordan, um, if you're watching, turn away. Oh, you're collecting them. It's okay. Oh, all right. We're just adding them to our collection. That wacky frog. Oh, my Ooh, is God. Is that king frog? I like that frog. So this is uh, Michigan J frog. Mm -hmm. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. And this oh is, God, uh, this is Crazy Frog. Oh man, Crazy Frog looking good. Did I tell you that I got a Crazy Frog avatar in, uh, in VR chat? Really? Yeah. Is it, is it? No, is it... it's not. Okay. It's safe for work. I'm really, really glad because I'm pretty sure that, that they would have gotten in trouble if they you, modeled You knew it that was the first question I had to ask. Though. It was the first thing I wondered when I put it on. I was like, I had to check the mirror. I'd be like, okay, I don't want to be profane. <laughs> this is a family-friendly crazy frog outfit, or am I going to get arrested? Yeah, well, you're not allowed to do anything not family-friendly in VR chat, so yeah, luckily, luckily it obeyed the rules. Yeah, like he has music. pants on. They pantsed him? I think so. I'd have to listen. I'd have to put the avatar on and... Okay, you have to... There you go. I see. All right. To jump and get the frog. Yeah. They get bubbled and then they float upward. What if we did this? Whoa! Whoa! Shit, shit, shit! Okay. All right. I was, that was okay. <laughs> That wasn't me talking, that was Robert saying, shit, shit, shit! Maybe they were onto something with this game. I think this game is good. I'm gonna say it, I think this game is good, and I don't think it deserves the hate it gets, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. That's for us to judge. And judging we will do. Soon. That's grammatically get it, correct. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! But yeah, judging we will do. Nice. We're rich. We're rich in Kiwis. We're rich in Robit Cash. We're rich in PS1 imports. You prefer normal frogs to crazy frogs? Listen. Just because these frogs aren't anatomically correct. Who was it that, that I had the, uh... I had the conversation about the merits of Michigan J Frog versus Crazy Frog. Oh, it was the Sasquatchulus stream. Okay. We were talking about how frogs would evolve if you gave it a uh, philosopher's stone based based uh, or versus a fake philosopher's stone. Mm -mm. I assume fake philosopher's stone is how you get a uh, Crazy Frog. Yeah, we were watching the final hours of Lifeline. If anyone wants the uh, context for that, <laughs> I I just think I just think the Joker would call him Normal Frog. Sorry. I think it's time for our final game. I think so too. I don't wanna. We've made the front page of Hanauma Sometime News. I can feel pretty good about our time 
uh, spent behind the wheel of Robert. Yeah. Robert Mon Dieu. My god. Consider it when ranking our platformers uh, in like half an hour or so. Yeah. But for now, we got to finish up with the final game. Third place winner in this week's poll. It is Jinx. What is this? Okay, just hold on. I got to adjust this game as well. So Yeah, it's PAL format. This is a PAL exclusive. That did seem fun. I had a lot more fun with it that, uh, this time compared to last time I played uh, Jumping Flash 3. <laughs> Who knows Jinx? Who is familiar with this game? Please I tell me it's good. <laughs> we, we played Cheesy, for God's sake. Please love us. Thank you, Luna Wolf, for the subscription. Do appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, this should be good. From Hammerhead. And Sony Computer Entertainment Europe? Sony themselves? Okay. I think we're good here. Holy crap, that is not just a sub. Probably not oh. no tamer thank you for gifting a 12 month sub to luna wolf thank you enjoy a year of retro pals courtesy of that extremely generous person there thank yes, you thank you okay hold on one second jinx gotta... this already looks like a nightmare okay i think this is good bubsy 3d vibes uh, i didn't want to say it but uh there you go alex uh, enjoy your kermit age That's a nice logo. Uh, no. Make game good. It's very colorful. Many fine purples you can see immediately right off the bat, so it's probably a good game. Hey, I'll this, ca I called Jinx before we started this. Does this involve a jester of some sort? Some you sort are the clown? jester. You are a jester. Oh, man. No way. Uh-uh. 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 I did not sign up to be a jester. This is the first appearance of the Joker in video games. Also, I tested this game out earlier, and this guy has more to say than you would ever believe. Um, do I have to have him bring me up to speed? I'll let you decide. Chat, I love you, so no. Yeah, his name is Merkins. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Sure, you know what? Tell Show me about me the wind, wind portals, portals. Merkins. Oh yeah, this was super late. This is some like 2002, 2003. One of the very last PS1 games to come out in Europe. I need to find chapter seals to open the wind teleports. 2003, wow. That's a couple years before PS3. I thought it was going to be a tutorial, tutorial. Now, what makes you think that this game would have penis mm. music in it? I don't see that at all. Okay, here we go. Mamu City, got it. Does this game joker five people? Is that how we ended up with so many internet jokers? This looks nice. I guess it would have to be in such a late game, but wow. Wind portal. I assume. View globe. Okay. That's not a wind portal. Come on. Find the wind portal. Smooth. Yeah, who wants to read? That's why I play video games. Can I? That just decoration. Is this the way? Oh, it's this freak again. <laughs> hey, I'm not a freak. Hold on, is this a different freak? No, it's No, that's same. Merkins. Okay, so it's this way. Yeah, it's not so much penis music as it is pure moods music. Here we go. Welcome to Mamu City. Here I go. This is a Motley Fool video game, yes. 
you don't see as many you only see the joker really in video games now you don't see general clowns or jesters i think that's a shame yeah and we're dropped off in the world of spyro the dragon nice hey wait a minute better find those sexy daddy dragons danny <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that jump I threw Alex off his game so bad, he said Danny in a really weird way. <laughs> oh, you getting all this? Enjoy! Okay, now we'll figure out as I go. Yeah, new Alex sound dropped. Ah. Danny! Selling buttons there. So, your Jinx, your Jester, you have, a, you have a punch combo? He's a wiggly jester. People already drawing positive comparisons to Bubsy, saying this at least looks better than Bubsy 3D. What's I the really... plot of this? Well, they told us in like 20,000 words and we can't read. Yeah, uh, you need to save the world. There, there was a plot recap and I skipped it because... Because it was all text. They didn't... They didn't truncate it at all. It's just like, here's a giant lore dump right at the beginning of the game. And you want honestly, to play a platformer? No, you're going to read. Honestly, we don't need any lore dumps today, do we? It's the weekend. I've had enough dumps. All right, so far, so good. Gotta <laughs> find the cheat code to turn it into Nights into Dreams. Yeah. Is that... Let's think about the gestures we've seen in video games. Okay. There's this one. Uh, don't know much about him just yet. There's Knights, of course, the genderless uh, flying creature from the world of Knights into Dreams. There is um, Fuckface McGee in Pandemonium. What's his name? What is that guy? I don't know. Fargus. Fargus is his name, a.k.a. Fuckface. Is Jack Frost a jester? I guess he has the little frill around his neck. Oh, I refuse to categorize him as jester. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack Frost fans, but he's not a jester to me. Gonna have to think about that one. Marks from Kirby? Okay. That's yeah. jester. That fits. That's a jester. Joka from Klonoa? Mm-hmm. The, uh, the evil jester from Nights into Dreams? What's, okay. what's their name? Riala. Dropsy is a clown. Mm -hmm. That is a kind of jester. Harley from Chrono Cross. Oh, we got a few jesters. There's, a, there's one in Klonoa. There's a Super Mario RPG. There's an Ultima one. A jester in Devil May Cry 3. <laughs> I forgot about the farting clown from Alien Challenge. That's that's a jester. There is, of course, the, uh, the final boss of Fighter's History. Nice and the so penultimate much. boss of Fighter's History Dynamite. Poplio. You know what? There's a shit ton of jesters. Why are there so many jesters in gaming? Grandia guy. Wow. I don't think Eno's a jester. I, I'm gonna, gonna have to draw the line there. Thank you. I don't remember much ah. of Carnival, but I'm willing to bet there's some jesters in there. Probably some twisted ones. They are keeping it real. We gotta appreciate the jesters of the world. It's so easy to just change your act slightly and become the Joker. Just to just to latch on to what's popular currently. It disgusts me, frankly. You're, are you sick of everyone joker jokerfying and you want people to jesterfy instead? Yeah, jesterfy. Don't they, jokerfy. Yeah, instead of being like, oh, I'm an evil clown. Well, there are so many different kinds of evil clowns you could be. Why, why just the Joker? You're just limiting yourself. Why can't you be more jester-like like this? <laughs> this is how a jester talks. You don't gotta be the Joker. Express yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Oh, I... I pushed the block. <laughs> There's so many being mentioned. People are bringing up League of Legends now. Alex is becoming jesterfied in real time. Uh -huh, I am fully jesterfied. Stop Ronald they... McDonald is a... Well, is he a jester? He's a clown. Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, maybe the, the twisted MC kids one. 
is Kefka a jester? Danny, you answer that. You pissed people off with that answer. Yes. Yes, that is true. Kefka is a jester. He's uh, the most... Kefka! <laughs> In terms of kill count, he's the most successful jester of all time. I guess I have to get ready to run. Jesterfication, oh. a side effect of HRT. That remains to be investigated. They don't know Oh, yet. man. This sucks. We're doing the Crash Bandicoot thing already. This game's already out of ideas. They're not really selling this. I'm not selling it, I think, is a problem. Because I like this. There wasn't much urgency to that chase. You like this? Yeah. Wait, am I going back? I think I am. <laughs> no, I want to do. No, no, I want to see. Jesterfication is a side effect of taking progesterone. <sighs> all right, I did go all the way back. That's cool. Yeah, we're letting this music happen. It's just kind of unfolding. <laughs> I'm collecting this. Stuff. Hey, I didn't pick up the joke. I just repeated it. <laughs> stars for the jester. <laughs> I don't like this new character. <laughs> this is my least favorite Alex character. This is what this is what the Joker on the back of a pack of cards sounds like. They sound like this. It's not on the back. There's Joker cards. The Joker is a major character in a deck of cards. <laughs> Have you fallen for one of my japes, Danny? Folks, don't play this game. Do you see what it's done to Alex? Does anyone want this? Does anybody? Oh, I've been bespiked. <laughs> bespiked. Bespiked. Oh. I mean, we can still What's talk about the again? mini. We can still continue to talk about the mini jesters that are in video games. It turns out there's a lot of them. I thought it was just knights, and then like this guy, and then that's it. But no. Ban Alex, whatever for? <laughs> Maybe if we ban Alex enough, he'll return to human form. That's right, I'm saying jesters aren't human. Oh, look at me rise. Very slowly. Very. You're very right, Clown Piece is a jester. To bring it back to Toho once again. Where's the, where's the Toho mascot platformer? There's a Toho jester? Yeah. You want to know who's a jester? Harley Quinn. You're right. She's literally a Harlequin jester, yes. Hey, I did pretty good. Yeah, there's probably like a billion of those. I just haven't looked. Princess Bab, huh? Do not swim in the moat. Got it. Yeah, there was a Toho Metroidvania on PS4 that was $2, and I hated it. <laughs> so I haven't really played any other Toho games. I assume they're all like that, though, right? You're gonna piss off the Toho fan. Someone's writing a novel right now. I'm like, actually... Oh, Caveman Night! It's a very long-running and well-respected shmup series. Hey, leave me alone, Caveman Night. I don't wanna fight you. Where's the PC-98 version of Je uh, Jinx, is what I'm wondering. There's no way we could, we could stream it if that existed. It <laughs> should have said Princess Babe. <laughs> oh, I haven't... Oh. We're learning how to swim. All right. the, the thing from Silhouette Mirage, that is definitely a jester. It looks the part. Mm. Hi, Jinx. My name is Bart. Crush gals, that's a very important distinction. Yeah, when when trying to decide if something is a jester or a clown, the difference is uh, face paint. There's also the mime subclass, mm -hmm. but that's after you get to level 20.
Oh, I did play Toho and Luna Nights. That one was okay. Maybe they're getting better at the, the Metroidvania thing. And jesters have bells, that's right. Mm -hmm. When they're running out around, they're gonna be jingling and jangling all over the place. So, which one of us is gonna get the jester outfit first in real life? We're we're gonna turn into jesters? I mean, I'm jesterfying. I don't know about you. I was more uh, putting my points into the VTuber path. Okay, well you could do that. You could be a VTuber, and I could be a Jester. And I think the VTuber and Jester classes are mutually exclusive. I have seen a Jester VTuber. I know that they exist. Yes, save. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, you should save. Go ahead and save. Okay. These are fake memory cards. I got okay. I got all the memory in the world. Omaru Polka, yes, okay. That's what I was thinking of. Man, it, it makes you do like 20 steps to save your game. Okay, can I have the control? Yeah, I was going to say it's your turn now. What'd you think? I liked it, actually, but I don't know if that's just because I, I'm still reeling from cheesy. <laughs> Dex points are for jesters. Uh, int points, ironically, are for clowns. Yeah, see, that's how I feel playing this. It's just, there's a lot going on. It's a it's little really, overwhelming. It is, and it's overwhelming for something that's pretty basic. They do keep it simple, though. You got a jump button, you got a, a pound button. You got, what the fuck? Hey! You got... <laughs> you got that button. <laughs> you have an inventory. You have one cherry bomb left. Huh. Uh close-up feature and you can rotate the camera with the L and R buttons I think this game has DualShock support but uh I didn't I didn't set that up in Mednafin that explain it charisma points are for bards and luck points are for mimes okay yeah there you go overall yeah yeah there's a there's a whole full spectrum no problems key acquired where do we oh you could butt stomp Good. But you have to turn on that fan with the key. This music's starting to grind on my nerves. It's starting to not like... Do, 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 do. Use triangle to use your keys. Thank you. You're welcome. Who was that? I want you to have to... Who is familiar with this game to know? Who knew that? Was it you? No, it was me. Oh, okay. I used it earlier, yeah. I used triangle to, to do all sorts of things. Thank you, Akadar, for the 27 month resub. We appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome Where to the world of jesters. I hopefully you sit on the pro jester side of things, but it's okay. Anti jesters are allowed to watch us too. Pro jester, didn't he get canceled? <sighs> Moving on. No, I, I just that. like the music. I really just like the music. You're not, you're not liking the music? It's got a galloping quality to it that makes me feel like I'm on a horse. It makes me sick, honestly. You just, you don't want, what, you don't want to be a horse? No. Why not? What's wrong with being a horse? We got anti-horse here? I'm not anti-horse, I just don't want to be one. Other people can be a horse. Okay, good, I'll be a horse then. You gonna read that? Yeah. Okay. Name's Mark, by the way. You may have met my little brother Bart. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Why did they write so much of this if it blows? Horse is not a clown subclass, but clowns can um, turn into horses. Don't ask. Well, this guy can turn on the fan. What's this? Oh, I know what the specific kind of meter is in music. Who knows? Uh, I, I think it's called bad. <laughs> River dance techno, I'm hearing. No, it's it's a specific kind of rhythm that uh, brings to mind adventure. 
That's what this is. I see polka. Someone mentioned polka. Yeah, it's like a. It's more like a. Six eight. We're getting closer. The Jethro Toll meter. Yes. It's not cut time, but. Um, I'll think of it. Compound meter. There you go. What the? Oh my god. This might not even be compound meter. I'm probably just talking out of my ass. Triple time. Yeah, triple time. Triple compound, uh, double time. Uh, Ben Gay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, it sounded like you were describing an ointment. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ben Gay? <laughs> me, for one. Our entire audience, for the most part. It's Jester, for sure. I don't want to claim him, but I guess we have to. He's representation. Oh man, that sucks. Look, better don't you feel represented? <laughs> Indeed I do, Danny! Okay, nope. <laughs> All right, nope. That's enough of that. I'm glad I have something revolting I can do to piss you off. You really need to... I don't like Alex's jester voice. Oh, this is why we don't stream with other people! Because <laughs> they can't take my jester voice. Oh no, it's affecting me too! Oh no! I'm justifying my beautiful, wonderful spouse! Actually, no, this is more of a Charles Nelson Riley. It, it kind of is. That's how you do a jester voice. It's like a Charles Nelson Riley, but with money. You have to be a little snooty like you're from the 80s. I am from the 80s. I, I am as well. <laughs> Yeah, we spent so much time worrying about jokerfication, we fell right to justification. Where are the army memos about justification? Let this let this stream be a warning. Justification is real. It can happen to you. What kind of riddle is that? It just tells you what to do. A wizard says if you push triangle, you can make a thing happen. <laughs> riddle me this! How do you press triangle? <laughs> Never get out of this one, Batman. I need to read that again. <laughs> cogs. You gotta return the cogs. Let's go find a cog. Why is there not a jester, um... A jesterfication, um... Or jester, just, just a jester hat uh, emoji. Just a jester? Just a jester! A jester jester! Jester's jesterly. Start stating facts in that voice only? You got it! Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? That Super Mario 2 was originally known as Doki Doki Panic! Oh, I've been beaten to the punch with that fun factoid! What was your fun factoid? Oh, it was probably just gonna be that, I don't know. Alright. I was actually it was gonna be that Charles Nelson Riley is in an episode of The X Files, but everybody already knew that. Yeah, we saw that one. That was a good one. No, you didn't see that one. I saw that. Whoa. Didn't I? No, you saw the one with um, Gary Shandling. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I've been watching the Larry Sanders show. And I thought it was one and the same. No, Charles Nelson Riley was in the one with the smoking alien. Where the alien just chain smokes and says, this is not happening. Really? Yeah, they're, they're holding their head in their hands. They're really upset. Neat. Yeah, it's actually really funny. Is it just Dr. Smith from Lost in Space? I guess that's a little bit of that voice. <laughs> He's the original Jester. Well, I want to get across this. Oh, look. This probably needs to be dropped, so I need mm -hmm. to find a gear somewhere. Yeah, that guy was saying you have to find a gear. This game grinds my gears. It brings my piss to a boil. You ever hear that one? No, but could you push that block? You can press... You, it looks like there's a block that's supposed to be pushable to right to the center, and that looks like a block you can push, so... Not that one, but the other one. This one? Yeah, try pressing triangle. He's not going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is pissed. He should! Oh, that blessedly stopped the music Still for a few see, seconds. See? Okay. He doesn't 
He don't. Why not? He only he only go this way. Can you push? Well, then how are you supposed to? Come on! Are jesters big in Europe? I mean, that's where they originated, I assume. So I assume. You yeah, know. they were imported. Need this. Mm -hmm. But. How push that? This is gonna require all of our collective brain power. Okay, maybe you need to make those blocks go down somehow. I'd love to. I I, I, I I'm not saying that that we all know how to do it. I'm just saying I'm assuming that's what you need to do. Yeah, I know. I need to find a cog. You gotta, you gotta work with me here, Jinx. The game is being a cog hog. <laughs> it's a real cog blocker. Oh, you boo me for that? I see. I mean, I'm booing myself as well, don't worry. <laughs> for letting it happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe we gotta explore elsewhere for these cogs. Get that guy's ass. Get him. Hit detection, not this game's strong suit. Huh. Keep talking about cranking cogs. That's, <laughs> we've had enough of that. <laughs> An eventful day here on Retro Pals. We became jesterfied. Mm -hmm. There's only this game now. We're not allowed to play other games. Cover the switches with blocks. What a devious puzzle platforming <laughs> uh, set piece. Jester would use a word like set piece to describe set a game. Piece. Yes, of course! Everyone knows you only use the word set piece when talking about Half-Life games. Okay, so you need to use the blocks to cover the switches. But where are the switches? Switches get stitches. Oh, good, it ended. Oh, is that? There's a switch. Looks like it's starting again! Quite the devilish music loop. I can pick up crates. Okay. Genuinely useful info. It's good we're seeing this. We get an idea of the depth and breadth of this game's mechanics. Look at that weird little stompy that dance he does. That is a weird walk. Um. Hang on. Hold up. There we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, you see. need to not push the block off of it because the block would be raised by the... Okay. I see. All right, so you're going to have to push the block back onto the uh, thing. Or I can use two boxes. You ever think of that? No. Watch me do it. Okay. It's going to be real slow. Hold on. Yeah, this is a uh, song that's going to be all Danny hears tonight. It's already become background noise to me. It's going to continue playing after the show, after I'm in the shower. So how are you going to get it up there? Oh. Fuck. How you doing, Alex? I'm good. You know you could put it on the other thing. Okay. You know where you could put it? Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. You, 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 are, you are in charge of gaming, and I am just <laughs> gaming's jester. I even said it in a normal voice for you. Thank you. Does this thing slide down hills? This game is hell. Can we just push it? I don't think we can just push it. We need to throw this thing. Can you carry it up? Well, the thing is, you, you can't jump or anything when you're like this. Mm. It looks like you could walk across just to it. You think? See? Oh. Well, aren't you the, the clown with the... Help me out here. The the clown with the the good box? Listen, I'm... I'm not good at this. 
I am justified. My brain is all jingle bells and Harlequin face paint. <laughs> Put the box down. Hey, you got a cog. Check it out. Hey. It is one of two cogs needed to progress. No more cog hog. You can put it. You can put it in too. The jester with the fester. Exactly. Oh god. The fester and jester. Wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. From the looks of it, a lot of people are being jesterfied right now. Yeah. It's fest. good. I see Fester's jest. Join our ranks. It's never been a better time to be a jester. Alright, I think you press the triangle to put in the cog. Okay, now we just, uh... Oh, we already oh. had two. Okay. And then we push this, which lowers that, and now we can push the box. We needed to complete, like, ten steps before we could... <laughs> complete the simple task of pushing a box. I complain, but isn't this just video games in a nutshell? Yeah. This is this is how the insane clown posse gains followers, insane jester posse. I could join the insane jester posse. I could see me there. What if there was a gathering of jesters? Mm. A get together. Perchance we should all go to the mall. Perchance. I, and do what they and do a jester flash mob. I'm sure the workers will be overjoyed to see twenty and thirty jesters going into their stores speaking like this. Yeah, they'll be like, holy shit, there's people in the mall. <laughs> They're gonna be like, oh man, I gotta work now. Level two, we made it. All right. People said it, we'd never ever see level two of this game, but here we are, pushing yeah. boxes. It's almost about time to judge. Surely you jest. <laughs> I sound like Pops from Regular Show. I haven't watched a lot of Regular Show. <laughs> you do. Show, <laughs> you definitely do. All right. Maybe that guy's a jester. I'm gonna swing by Sh Suncoast, get a Shrek DVD. Good, good. Much more bannings on this uh, mascot Friday than usual. I, mean, I think I we're onto something. Every, everyone's right to do so. I mean, they're not we've tapped wrong. into the cultural zeitgeist. That being uh, jesters. I love tapping into that zeitgeist. Nothing I like more. This game's all right. <laughs> it's not gonna win any awards, mm -hmm. but for all my complaining, this is an okay platformer. Very, very much Spyro the Dragon inspired, though. Yes, yes, it's very Spyro-like. It's not necessarily original or creative or pleasant to look at or mm -hmm. fun to listen to or... Enjoyable, but... <laughs> but it is a platformer. I think it's pretty playable, aside from its issues. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, compared to Cheesy, I'd much rather play this. Yeah, it's good we played Cheesy to get our heads on straight, to yeah, give us some perspective. Yeah. Crush Gals, good point. It's a Workman's 3D platformer. Yeah. Platformer. Yeah, platformer. I am Jesterfied. Platformer for the working man. The working stiff. The working jest. I'm convinced this is the same song we've been listening to the entire time. It is? Yeah. I think it's I think it's judgment time, honey. Should we keep this song going? Do you want to torture the audience? I mean I mean, I could. I could judge like this. No. <laughs> Welcome to Mascot Friday. I'm the king of candy. Shit. The king of death. Let's kill off this jester fuck one last time so we can see the game over screen. And then we'll then the judgment shall begin. We got quite a lot to judge here tonight on Mascot Friday. We've seen Cheesy, we've seen Robert in his final appearance, and we've seen the hit new platformer star Jinx. Jinx, y'all love Jinx, right? I love Jinx. He's coming back on PS2. 
and then they're gonna HD remaster it on PS3, and then have Blue Point do do a complete remaster on PS4, <laughs> and then all that effort is just give it away for free on the PS5 because it got no games. That's Jinx, and that is his legacy. I don't know if this song works for our judgment portion. I may just start up the game again. Okay. I don't know if I want to listen to that music. Then again, I don't have to. I can just take out my headphones. Yeah, I was going to say my headphones are out too, so you don't have to listen. Let everyone else be jesterfied. Mm -hmm. Actually, didn't Cheesy had have some hot jams? Yeah, I think so. Let's boot up Cheesy. Boot up Cheesy. We'll find a good background music track. And we can properly judge these mascots for what they are. Bastards. <laughs> exactly. Now this is the portion of the program where you get to make your voice heard based on what you've seen tonight. Do you think these games are better or worse than Gex 64 so, for the 3D platformers? Well, no, no, no. Cheesy. How are we doing it? 2D or 3D? Cheesy, we're doing 2D, so forget what I said. <laughs> so, so. so for Cheesy, you have to decide whether it's better or worse than Bubsy Claws Encounters of the Third Kind for Super Nintendo and Genesis. You can let us know that with an RP Angel Bubsy or an RP Devil Bubsy. There's our Bubsy. So what do you think? Is Cheesy better or worse than Bubsy? Vote now! Hold do on, it! I gotta get the list up. <laughs> Listen to this cheesy core music. All right. Uh, devil's all the way. Bottom. I'm not seeing a lot of positivity here. I'm not seeing many, many halos. I'm just seeing a lot of devil horns. A lot of devilish bubsies. Can you uh, click the game screen? I'm going to put this on the option screen or something so it doesn't... We don't have interrupted music. Come on, Cheesy. Cheesy's bad, but it's bad in a memorable way. Okay, this is my argument. The game controls like ass. Let's yeah. not let's not beat around the bush. It controls real bad. He's floaty, he's slippery, he's slidey. He's a filthy rat, and yet in spite of that, we don't like him. He's we found a rat I don't like. What do you think of this music? Is this judgment music? Let's see here. Yes, this is absolutely okay, judging. This this music is judging me at the as we speak. What so. a game this is. Um, controls are bad. It's mm -hmm. very basic. Uh, even if you really want to play it, it's kind of a challenge too, just because it's so hard to come to grips with how he slides and floats everywhere. But it's still memorable. It tries a whole bunch of stuff. It has overhead view sequences. It has sewer chases. It has 3D and 2D gameplay. Cheesy, I think, is a victim of his own ambition, and that's why I think he should get life in prison instead of the uh, death penalty. Thank good, you. good, okay. I guess we're not murdering um, Cheesy. However, it looks like he's definitely way worse than Bubsy. <laughs> why don't we scroll down to the, uh... God, maybe the 400s? Mm, maybe it's not that bad. Is this there bad? Was that, there was that one level that reminded us of uh, Lum No Wedding Bell. Okay. <laughs> so let's start there. I think it was a little bit better than Lum No Wedding Bell. Just just barely. Okay, so better than Lum. Uh, what about, I don't know, uh, better than Wayne's World? Okay. Uh, so that's, okay, so we're doing better than Lum. Hmm. How do we feel about comparing it to Lost World of Jenny? Lost Word, sorry, of yeah. Jenny. Better or worse? Hmm. What do you think of this? Worse than Bubsy 2 Console Edition? Better than Bubsy 2 on Game Boy? What do we okay. think of that? I that, like that. That may, be, that may be being a little bit too nice to Cheesy, but I think that's probably the best he's going to get. If y'all want to rank him lower, then please feel free to say so. How about between uh, Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday and Bubsy 2 on the Game Boy? Okay. How do we feel about that for Cheesy? That's a uh -huh. little bit less than mm -hmm. I was prepared to accept, but it's it's basically what mm -hmm. Cheesy deserves. It's a crap game. Mm -hmm. But not horrible. It doesn't make you feel sad playing it. It just makes you mad. <laughs> I would prefer feeling mad over feeling sad, personally. Uh, lower, lower. Are we still going lower? How about Johnny Bazooka Tone? Between Johnny Bazooka Tone and Pickle Wars? 
I'm okay with between uh, Johnny Bazooka Tone and Pickle Wars. Pickle Wars was shit. <laughs> Johnny Bazooka Tone is also shit in that weird 3DO way, but I think it's slightly more okay. acceptable. Around Bazooka Tone sounds right. I saw someone else say uh, around Bazooka Tone. Let me, there you go. I just see Pickle Wars now. God, Pickle Wars was horrible. Fuck that game. I'm feeling good about this. I'm already, I've already accepted the fact that Pickle Wars okay. is underneath cheesy. All and right, I see consensus. I'm starting to see consensus. Do it. Doing it, doing it before people start to riot. Worse than Johnny Bazooka Tone, but better than Pickle Wars. That's cheesy. That's that's cheesy. Just on PS One, right? Just on PS One. That was Ocean, and what was the company again? I forgot. Three guys. Can you just type in three guys? Uh, CTA Developments. Yeah, three guys. <laughs> Way to go, Cheesy. You're not the worst, but you are far, far, far from the best. Now give me a second. I gotta switch mascot sheets here. Okay, everybody. Change change your way of thinking. We're no longer in the 2D realm. We're judging 3D platformers. Based on what you've seen, is the second game we played tonight better or worse than Gex 64? You can let us know with an uh, RP Gex Nerd or an RP Gex Cool, I think is what they are. There we go. So, the second game we played tonight, which I definitely haven't forgotten already, is a game by the name of... That's right. It's the game... Robert Mondew. It's Robert Mondew, of course. By How could I forget? Is Robert Mondew better or worse than Gex 64, you think? seen I'm... a lot of Gex Cools, and yeah. I agree. People like the Robit. They also like the Gex, though. Tail time trending, which is a Gex equivalent. Mm -hmm. Mostly cool, though. Surprising. Yeah, believe it or not, Robit Mondu does not have a great reputation. Uh, mostly due to people importing it back in the day, just seeing all that Japanese text, make, being unable to make anything of it, and just kind of being underwhelmed with the gameplay. From what I played, though, it was an interesting take. It wasn't exactly like Jumping Flash 1 and 2, but at that point in the series, they probably needed to try something different. They didn't, uh, it didn't, what's the phrase I'm looking for? It didn't jump the shark. I was about to say it didn't get milkshake ducked. That's something else. That's very different. It didn't jump the shark, but it did try something different, and I think that may have uh, disappointed series fans. Regardless, though, I think it's still worse than Jumping Flash 1 and 2. Okay. So we maybe won't rank it that high. Where is Jumping Flash 1 and 2? Jumping Flash 1 and 2 are way up there. They're like top 10. Oh, yeah, there they yeah, are. Yeah, see? Yeah. So we are definitely below those two, which is fine. Okay, let's start with Blinks 2. Is it better than or worse than Blinks 2? Interesting. Yeah, Robert's canceled. <laughs> God. A lot of people waiting for that, waiting for him to fuck up and say the wrong thing. Yeah, Jumping Flash 2 is better than the first. It's good, but it's got more juice, as they say. Blinks 2 is better. We still uh, moving down lower a little bit. Lower than Rocket? Okay, I know we're doing lower than Rocket Robot on wheels. That's fine. Um, so I'm saying I was like... Blinks okay, so it's... More interesting. If okay. it's not as good as Blinks 2, here's what I want to do. You want to you wanna make a hedgehog sandwich? Between Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Adventure 2? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that sounds good. Do you want to do folks, that? Folks, between uh, Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog? All the Sonic Adventure 2 fans are just like, no! So we may have to put it beneath Sonic Adventure 2. I'd be okay with that, too, though. This is okay. Do it. Better than Shadow. I could see an argument for that. This seems Anything pretty else? close, though. I want to break up the hogs. You know what? I think I'm going to put in my vote. Yeah. I don't like them being all smashed up next to each other. Let's do it. Doing it. Worse than Shadow the Hedgehog, better than Sonic Adventure 2. Of course, the game I'm talking about is Robert Mondew for the PS1. I misspelled it. I know. A statement that pissed off literally everyone in our audience right now. Oh, I didn't misspell it. Okay. It's PS1. And that is Sony... And Sugar and Rockets and Moo Moo. Good old Sugar sugar and Rockets. I'm ready for this week to be over. How about y'all? I'm, I'm done. I'm done with platformers. I'm done with the justification of the world. Speaking and speaking of, of which, our final game for this evening, of course, was Jinx for the PAL PS1. Is Jinx better or worse than Gex 64? 
our jester friend, very inspired by Spyro the Dragon, bringing, bringing exactly one song to the 40 minutes that we played his game. <laughs> but we're still going to try and make this a fair assessment if we can. A lot of equivalents. A lot of people saying this is basically Gex 64. Seen a couple of Gex nerds, but only just Maroonies a Maroonie, around. which <laughs> I'm not sure what that counts as. Yeah, these are mostly nerds. I'm not seeing... Well, there's one Gex cool, but it's mostly nerds. I'm surprised. I... I wow. I'm honestly shocked. I had a decent time playing Jinx. I didn't hate it. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was a 3D platformer. But when it comes to generic 3D platformers, are you going to play as a game play a game with some fucking jester or are you going to play as Gex the cool gecko? That's right. I think Gex wins in this case. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather play Gex. Sorry. But this isn't going to be very far below as in I can't see it being more than 5 places below Gex 64. I want to say it's better than Sonic 06. It is. Chameleon Twist, though. Hmm. Maybe between Chameleon Twist and Sonic the Hedgehog 06? Hmm. Definitely above Dr. Mudo. Okay. Yeah, with Gex, you got the quips. Jinx didn't say shit. So between uh, Evil Twin and Sonic the Hedgehog 2006? Somewhere in there. Chameleon Twist is more charming. I really like Chameleon Twist. Between Evil Twin and Dr. Mudo. I could do between Evil Twin and Dr. Mudo. What do you think, Danny? I'm alright with that. You okay with that? Chat. And it's not just... Well, Chameleon Twist 1 is kind of bare bones. Chameleon Twist 2... Did we rank that yet? Did we? If we did, it would probably be above... Nah, just that one. I guess not. Okay. Well, when it comes time to redeem Chameleon Twist with the sequel, I guess that'll be ranked better. But in this case, I'd be willing in this one case to admit that Jinx is a little bit better than Chameleon Twist. Okay. Between Evil Twin and Dr. Muto? Going I once? Between Evil Twin and Dr. Muto is what we're doing. Going twice? I think it's happening. Sold. Sold! Jinx, the jester, sold for $2. But hey, pretty good for a PAL exclusive, right? Mm -hmm. And it's right up there with his brethren, uh, Evil Twin, which was also a PAL exclusive for Dreamcast. So they have a lot to talk about. I feel good about that. We, we're making a family here on this spreadsheet. Oh man, it's like a. Oh man, it's a family like in in, in the hit film series, Fast and the Furious. Exactly like that, Alex. Can, I did. How did I even say that <laughs> sentence? What the fuck? That was Sorry, the worst. Sometimes that was the worst just, promo you've ever delivered. Yeah, that was that was. They paid us fifty thousand dollars for you to say that. <laughs> Pay up, fuckers. I wish I would. <laughs> hey, I'll talk about the meaning of family to Dom Toretto for free, okay? And with the final mascot ranked, you know what that means, right? That I means we have come to the end of yet another week. And at the end of this week, believe it or not, it's the weekend. Oh, thank God. It is now the weekend. Enjoy your Saturday, also your Sunday. Enjoy some of the mascots we play tonight, or don't. I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what to do. In any case, I hope you have a good one. Patrons, there's a new poll up. Did you see? Did you see it? It's up at patreon.com slash retropals. This week's theme is Peripheral Battle. Uh, no matter what wins this week's poll, I have to play every single game from the winning peripheral. Your choices are the NES Power Pad, the Sega Genesis Minister, excuse me, the Minister, and uh, Mega Mouse. That's a mouthful. And also the Super Nintendo Mouse. Whichever you feel most strongly about, please vote for it, and we'll showcase the winner next Wednesday. Yeah. Just make sure to vote. It's important. Please vote. Please, Real important. Please vote. All right, I'm done here. Alex, give us a wrap-up. I'm going to look for a raid target. Okay, we're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropals. We post highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which is a look at licensed uh, PC edutainment games. So if you like, if you want to see Dilbert like you've never seen him before, check it out. That what does that like mean? A threat. <laughs> it's a threat. It's a threat. Good. Um, we're on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash retropalshq. It's where we post when we go live. We also post when we have new videos up on YouTube and other good stuff. We also retweet memes. So do check that out if you're interested in uh, keeping all the Retropals news you can use. 
That's and the news you can't use. And and we also have a Discord. Let me just put that in the chat. Um, join it. Consider consider joining our Discord. You can talk to other fans of the show. See when we go live. You can also see uh, food. We post food. Oh, I got I got something good here. Okay. Yeah, food, folks, and fun. That's what we're all about. God, that's good. That's good. Mm, mm. All right, folks. I'm going to leave you with Dot Level, who is playing action games all night, in her words. Uh, she was playing a couple of Castlevanias. Right now, she is fighting Wart in Super Mario Brothers 2, so you know what that means. I'm going to... Oh, God, you got to... She missed the vegetable. She missed the damn vegetable. When she beats Wart, I want us all to bust in and say, it was all a dream. <laughs> so... <laughs> So if you if you feel like such doing such a thing, uh, please do. I will join you. Have a good weekend. We'll see you <laughs> later. Thanks for watching. See you, folks. <laughs>